Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Tarot Talk. This is Terry, your host. So I don't have much to talk about today. Um, Got to make this quick because we'll be going on an outing to hopefully bring you more videos. But I wanted to show you all this I had made. Albert pulled it out of the Jeep because he's looking to sell it. And it had been in there, but uh, it's a chain. And I made it myself. And what it's made from is this is a crystal chandelier teardrop. I got a pack of them because I love blue glass. And uh, I got a chain and uh, ended up making a chain out of it. Nice and easy, and I thought it looks pretty cool. And you can get these in different colors, too. They don't come in just clear. Today I'll be reading from the Crowley Tarot. Mornings have been so crazy and unpredictable recently. I've been trying to go daily, but uh, sorry, folks, if I miss. So your card is, ooh, your card is defeat. Now in astrology, this card is Venus and Aquarius on the tree of life. It's Gabura, upheaval through air, the fear of fear, the precarious conflict. On the I Ching, it's 49, Ko, which means revolution. The analogy is the mysticism of the passion, Jesus' fear of death and his being taken prisoner. The image is the crown of thorns. Key words are loss, fear, disgrace, and betrayal. Instinctively, this will be passive endurance of the painfulness of a negative experience. Your goal will be recognition of one's own limits. On the bright side of it, insight into the correlations lead to the intentions of transformation. On the dark side, it could lead to harm, evil, or take a turn for the worst. And the quality of it is insight into necessity of giving aggressive impulses an appropriate form of expression before it's too late. Now on the card, the Five of Swords um, form an upside-down pentagram, the sinister symbol of black magic. This reverse pentacle signifies the precarious conflict, altercations, unfair blows, vileness, a curse, an aggressive phase of destructive thinking, or inexplicable things that the mind does not want to decipher and that directly touch our most primitive, our most primitive fears. The fear of loss, abandonment, being helpless at someone else's mercy or deadly threats. Reality and delusion flow into each other and the truth and reality is increasingly destroyed 
However, the white light penetrating out from inside the pentagram hints at the ability of the mind to accept the fright and transformation, even the tragedies of life, into a faith, into a fruitful learning process. Energetically, the defeat leads to knowledge in a deeper sense. We do not suffer because of the desire to do so, but rather need suffering and, and defeat as a necessity experience in order to grow by overcoming it. The desire for knowledge is the wish for redemption. Crowley sees this card as the consequences of an attitude that has been too peaceful, whereby the defeat is the price of an of an exaggerated avoidance of conflicts. He writes, the intellect has been enfeebled by sentiment. The defeat is due to pacifism. Treachery may also be implied. On the inner level, this card, carrying defeat within itself, is the key to encountering our destiny. It represents the breakdown of the old image of the world on our way to inner knowledge. The defeat is a necessary pre prerequisite for achieving a greater truth. It promises the reward that lies only in defeat. In professional life, the Five of Swords shows that we find ourselves in a very difficult phase when we can become victims of defamations, spitefulness, or cruel humili humiliations. It is time in which we are well advised to dress warmly since we have to go through a valley of biting cold and icy animosity. And emotionally, there's an association with a relationship that has either just run aground or will soon be shipwrecked. It il illustrates a condition ruled by heartlessness, hate, embitterment, and a lust for power. The people involved encounter each other in an aggressive manner and often mutually inflict deep wounds. It is not infrequent that we here become victims of our own fearful avoidance of conflict, which now demands a high price by letting all these subliminally accumula accumulated aggressions erupt at once. Oh, so once more, it's talking about betrayal. So maybe this betrayal coming up might be a little bit more than uh, a minor thing, like uh, it seemed to say yesterday. Or it's going to be longer lasting than what you thought. So beware. That's all for today. Hope we get something good on our walk. But in the meantime, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow too. But in the meantime, take care, peace, believe because the spirits are out there. And until next time, bye-bye. May you have a blessed Thursday.